Certainly, you might be curious about this new word list. So, what is a list? Lists generally don't exist in many other web programming languages like PHP, but you would find this back in other cold fusion versions that are older than CF10. But what is a list? Certainly, list is a variable, a vari variable value that is placed inside a value. Suppose you want to place different number of values. Suppose you want to place three values consecutively in a single variable. So when we go on placing three single values, three distinct single values in one variable in other programming languages, this would erase the previous one. So what I mean by this, let us take a new fresh page and start writing our code. We won't save this right now because I'm here to demonstrate what I mean by uh, erasing the previous value. So in general if we go on writing a PHP code suppose if you're not familiar with PHP it's okay but if you're familiar with PHP you'd understand this really quickly so when we want to declare a variable suppose we want to declare a variable called name and this name would contain my name suppose I assign this value with my name as Nafis and this is a string value so suppose I want to assign different uh, I want to assign two other variables in this two other values in this same variable so this would need to be effaced of the previous value would get erased if I go on uh, assigning other variables like if I want to assign this variable right now in here this new value to this variable called Ahmed which is also a string to this uh, variable called name then this variable would no more contain the previous value but if I want to concatenate it this would actually add this name with this one but it's not solving our problem we want independent and distinct values to be stored inside one single value so Coil Fusion has a solution to this problem. So let us now save this as a CFML. Save us. This would be your list file dot CFM. Perfect. So let us start by writing CF script. And in a moment you'd understand that what a list can do to help us store different number of variables a different number of values inside a single variable so we started off with writing the CF script now let us assign let us as name one variable that is called questions by the way if you are still confused enough if you're still confused that you don't understand this please go on placing your comments below and let me know through your comments that where you are specifically facing all these problems and if you want any further help please go on to slideshare.net because I've already created a presentation a free presentation with all these things from ranging from variables lists structures loops functions if conditioning you'd find this presentation for free in slideshare so if you want to download it if you want to read it go ahead so let's get back to our coding so we are going to first assign three variables to this variable question and all of these variables would be strings so suppose we first start off with the first value what is your name and because this would be a list this first value would be stored inside the same variable and we, we are going to store another value for this variable so how to do it place a comma after that uh, first question and that comma needs to be inside the double quotation marks it can't be outside and remember to indent your code so that we can read that easily and remember to end your statements with the semicolon so let us now choose another question for this variable so what is your age and let us choose another value for this variable what what is your profession so now we have got a full-fledged list certainly your variable called question will hold all three of these values it wouldn't go on erasing any of them so how do we prove it we can go on 
using a built-in function called list get at that retrieves the value from the variable that retrieves the value from the variable which you want so let's see how that works we talked about placing our placing our functions inside the cf output tag so how do we do that we are not going to use another variable for this so cf output and suppose we want to print out the third question so the counting would start one two three so we want to print this third question in the list on our web page so how do we do it the third question of the list is let's use the strong tag from HTML and this would be and we need our pound we need to enclose our built-in function with our pound symbols so list get at and this list get at function takes two parameters the first parameter would ask you from which list are you going to retrieve your values so the list that we created was named as question and we want our third question to be printed on the browser so let's place the numeric value of three so what this list get at function is going to do is that it's going to look inside the list variable called question and it's going to retrieve this third question from the list but it won't affect any other thing any other variables or any other questions inside this question variable so let us now save this perfect and let us get back to our browser and write list.cfm and now I hope you see that our question has been printed perfectly this is working we can do tons of other things with lists so we can also go on using query string or linking query string with our lists and we can also use a list to loop through our values so how do we do all this stuff let's look at query string first so what we know about query string is that we can pass values directly to our variables through our URLs so how would that actually change anything in our list let's look at how to change our codes so that it can respond to user requests so first of all we need a parameter and that parameter would hold the URL structure and inside that URL structure we would declare a new variable called Q this variable Q would take the user's request suppose if the user wants to print the second question the second question in from the list then the user only needs to click on the link of that question and that link would then send the numeric value to this URL and it would store the value to this URL.Q or the Q variable and that variable would then print out the question on our page so that is what we are going to do on the script so we need a default value so for the default part we're going to choose the first element in our list so this would be the first question and let's end this with a semicolon and now we're going to remove this entire part and place this inside our new variable that we'll name as from URL so this from URL variable would hold the list get at function the built-in function and it will look through the list that we named as question and that it will look only look at the list element from the user's request so let us place the URL structure dot Q and let's end this now we need to output something so that the user can directly in interact with the page we now don't have anything so we need a link so the first link that we're going to create is going to is going to send a query string directly to our page So 
suppose we talked about the user wanting to create or the user wants no let's make this as a list we can use the unordered list tag from HTML that would be easier to do and that would make our code more organized so there are three questions in our list so we need three list elements and each of these list elements will consist of a link so this href tag will ha hold a value that will actually be a query string so we are going to pass the first question through our first list element so this would be what is your name the second would certainly be the same thing but it would hold the second question that would be that would get passed through our query string and then we have what is your age and lastly the last link would consist of the query string that will request for the third element in our list this is pretty easy I hope you understand it very well because later on these things this fundamental stuffs or this fundamental lists structures the concepts of all this all this language basics would would be placed together to create an entire web page so let's get back to our coding so the third question is what is your profession now let's save this so we have created an user response part where the user will click on a certain question and that question will get passed to our script and the script will process it and send it back to our page to be printed now we created the processing part we created the interaction part now we need a way to output what the user wanted so let's output this would be easy because the user wanted let's create a new line for it the user asked for the question and we print what question the user wanted so because the user would click on any one of the links and suppose the user clicks on the first link this query string will hold the variable called q and with the value 1 so this value 1 will get passed to this from url variable inside of cs script so next what we're going to see is that this url.q will be replaced by the variable value 1 inside it and this would get passed to our list inside this question that holds the entire list and now this list get at function would look for the first question and print it on our page so we need to enclose our variable with the pound symbol like before so so this would be from URL and let's make this bold and now we got to save this let's refresh the page and let's see what happens